Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Twit Specials is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Twit Live Special number 153, recorded January 30th, 2013. RIM's BlackBerry OS X announcement. Twit Live specials are brought to you by Slingbox, which can turn your mobile device into a television. With the new Slingbox, you can watch high-def TV on your smartphone, laptop, or tablet anywhere there's an internet connection. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Twit Live news coverage of RIM's Big Bet. BlackBerry OS 10. We're going to be uh, shortly taking you to the live stream of the RIM BlackBerry announcement in New York. Now they're doing a simultaneous announcement all around the world, lots of different locations, London and a bunch of other places. Uh, this is RIM's attempt to get back in the game in a big way. Uh, they've 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 placed a lot of their future riding on BlackBerry OS 10. We know a lot about it. We're going to talk about that with Ayaz Akhtar in a minute, but want to thank our sponsor, Slingbox which can turn your mobile device into a television. With the new Slingbox, you can watch high-def TV on your smartphone, laptop, or tablet, anywhere there's an internet connection. Check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. Slingbox always helping you bring uh, breaking news right here on Twit. I, as Akhtar, how you doing? It's it's early for us out it, here on the West Coast. It is super early. It's 6.57 in the morning right now. I'm doing quite well. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing well, too. Uh, we're keeping an eye on the live blogs. And, of course, there's a live stream going on. Jammer B behind the board, uh, making sure that we got that piped in and able to watch that. Thank you for get, coming in earlier as well, John. Appreciate that. You're welcome. <laughs> and uh, let's, let's talk a little bit before we get going here about what we know. We know it's probably going to be the Z10. There might be a Z20. Uh, we know it's going to be a black version. Uh, and Gadget reported today that the white version wouldn't be out until February 15th. So we'll get the black one today, white one February uh, 15th. We know it's going to have near-field communications. Uh, there was a register article today speculating that it might have the ability to download keys which would be, that would be an interesting differentiator. That's the thing we're going to be keeping an eye out. What is different? BlackBerry World has already launched. That gives you a uh, first run, like day after DVD release movies, uh, new TV shows, music. That kind of puts it back in the game on par with Apple and Android and Microsoft. But what's going to bring it out? And the register article suggesting that, you know, maybe your key card for your, biz for your business, to your enterprise, would be on the phone. So you just hold your phone up uh, to, to unlock a door to get yourself in a building. That could be interesting if that were true. I has anything else uh, catch your eye out there that you've been keeping an eye on? Well, I mean, I've been taking a look at the BlackBerry OS X for a while now because there's been leaks of it. You've seen it, uh, at least a variant of it on the playbook. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot simpler. The, in all the demos that uh, Rim has shown, it's supposed to be really about productivity, being able to do everything with, like, with, with one hand, very, very gesture-dependent, I'm really curious about how the hardware is going to do, like how the hardware is going to do with this operating system, and to see if it performs as well as it did in all the demos. Yeah, we we've seen so many uh, so many leaks of this thing. I don't think the look of it's going to be a big surprise. In fact, there was Engadget had a uh, pictures of it uh, on the shelf at Phones for You in the UK earlier today. Uh, but but yeah, that that software. Thorsten Heinz has said over and over, BlackBerry OS 10 is you know we we've, we've been waiting. We delayed it until after the holidays to get it right. So, okay, that's the right thing to do. Don't put it out when it's broken. Don't put it out when it's wrong. What what does it have to do for you, Iaz, to make this just sing? To make this be make the, the like, wow, Rim is back. Well, I would think. I think the first thing they did was lining up all those major partners for the uh, the app world, where they're called the BlackBerry world. Excuse me. That was a, a major deal. The fact it's supposed to launch with seventy thousand applications out of the gate. That I think is the first good start to this. But these phones, they, I'm 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 kind of curious about the hardware because when it came to something like the BlackBerry Storm, I think that's the uh, the touchscreen one, it had a very strange way of this sure press clicking thing. If these these hardware, if this hardware design can stand out, at least the touchscreen model, that would be quite impressive. Although in, in all the leaks and what we've seen, it's kind of an understated business first style, which is intelligent for BlackBerry. And intelligently, RIM did not switch off of a physical keyboard. They have that other model. So I'm not sure what's going to wow me as much as 
uh, I'm just thinking like it's they if they have all the major apps out of the, out of the gate, which they they do, and if they have decent hardware, maybe the pricing. If the pricing is extraordinarily low, maybe that would get people in the door. Yeah, I think you're you're kind of. I think we're all both circling around the fact that Rim probably needs to win big with business. That that's where their strength is. Uh, BlackBerry Enterprise Server, BlackBerry Messenger service. Uh, There's a rumor today that maybe BlackBerry Messenger wouldn't launch in places like Saudi Arabia for various reasons. I think that would be a mistake. I think what what Rim needs to do is come out and say, sure, you've got your iPhones, you've got your Android phones. Uh, and sure, you've got uh, Samsung out there with that with that advertisement that kind of implies that their phone is great for the enterprise uh, and Blackberries are old fashioned. Well, guess what? We're not old fashioned, uh, but we are sensible. We're we're professional. We're we're the phone that's not for playing around. We don't have a a, a, a Mattel like interface. We don't look like a toy. We're for business. Uh, and but I still think I think that that's good. And if it does, like you say, if it, if it gets on par with all of the things that you can do in Android and iOS and uh, and Windows Phone, that it that that can be a uh, that can be enough to get them attention. But they need something else to kind of juice them to get people to say, well, I, you know, maybe I actually want to get rid of my old Samsung Galaxy S uh, and and get this new uh, Z10 or Z20. When Samsung introduced the S3, they showed off a whole bunch of items that really made that phone stand out not only gesture supports but when you took the phone you turned it over turn on like do not disturb modes it looks like samsung tried really hard to figure out okay sure we have an android phone big screen uh it's it, it's really fast what else can we add and those are like those small things even though they they seem a little strange on their own by piling them on onto this device i think that made it made it strong as a different phone i don't know if blackberry could if rim could do something like that the, the idea of uh, copying your keys, that does sound intriguing. I mean, if there's a, a desktop component, if you can make your BlackBerry maybe like a laptop or something or maybe cloud backup, I'm not really sure what exactly their hook could be because, as like you're saying, enterprise is going to be all, all, you know, big fans of BlackBerry devices. But to get the consumer in, I mean, there's so many different cheap Android devices out there. So even if a value-based proposition was what RIM was going for, they're up against a huge amount of phones. So they really have to stand out in some way and it's kind of hard to figure out. Let's go ahead and uh, get the live stream that Rim is providing uh, up up in the window. They're they're about three minutes late now. They had given journalists so many warnings to take their their seat uh, that I thought I thought maybe they'd start on time, but apparently not. Well, that's okay. The operating system has been late for about what three or four months. So and the phone's been late delayed by three or four months. What's a couple more minutes? while we wait for Rim to put their put themselves on stage. Hey, Jammer B, is it possible to do that inset thing where you have the have us down in the corner and, and the Rim feed in the main? Uh, this is what I've got so far. I'm working on it, though. <laughs> okay, okay. <dude. laughs> I'll have it pretty soon. Yeah, just go ahead and throw it up. I, I can't hear their music, so I'm not, I can't tell when they... I, I've got it in my ear. Okay. Uh... <sighs> I hate, hate when these things start late because then it just makes you tap dance in a way that you don't want to get too far into a good conversation because you're going to have to interrupt it. Uh, and I think, we, I think we've covered the main points here, Ayaz. I mean, they, they, well, need, they need something. What, what was your big. opinion on the, uh, the gesture-based operating system? Because I was, I was intrigued by the idea of holding this phone because the, the, big, the big draw to me is like I want to be able to look at data on the go really fast. If, I'm, if one of my hands is full like I'm running with an airport, that was like the, the case scenario they kept showing in the demos. You had this one hand, you can kind of just flick up and see everything up front. This is something Windows Phone kind of does already with all that upfront data with its live tiles. Is that enough of a, of, a, of a productivity boost? You find out you're saving all this time. Do you think that, does that intrigue you at all, Tom? That's nifty. I actually love the gesture-based interface on, on the playbook. I, I think that's fantastic. And in fact, I find myself trying to do it. Uh, like when I picked up the Kindle Fire, which is essentially the same hardware, mm -hmm. I, I I was like, how do you get to the menu on this thing? I kept swiping down from the top, and then I realized, oh right, yeah, you have to you have to hold, and then you find the menu button. I, it, it is much better. It is much slicker, but I don't. Again, that's one of those things where okay, that's a checkbox. That's a very nice to have. Not the big thing. Looks like they're uh, running a uh, pre-roll video, so let's uh, key, let's take a look, see what they have to say. It's uh, it's all. 
It's all on screen. One device for work and play. I'll read along for the audio people. Reinvented the BlackBerry experience. Redesigned, re-engineered, reinvented BlackBerry. Why did redesign have an asterisk? I'm not making that up. Is that no, I know. Welcome to the BlackBerry experience. I'm Jack Perry coming to you live from New York City, where in just a few moments, we will officially launch BlackBerry 10. Before we do, I'm going to help set the stage by sharing just some of the worldwide excitement happening now. First, let's check in with our audiences from around the globe, starting with London. Oh, they're going to do a little worldwide check-in? Uh-oh. Dubai. This is very um, New Year's Eve style. Toronto. Of course, they have to be in Canada. And they have the lowest frame rate in Toronto. Because of Rogers. Paris. So everyone is bathed in blue light, as is the color of Blackberry's experience today. This is interesting. Rim trying to emphasize the fact that they are a global presence, not not just a a regional phone, uh, which is very very true. That just shows an emphasis on the international market, because the U.S. is where they've lost a lot of market share. So it's not dead yet. And it appears that their announcer's microphone isn't working. He looks very sincere, though. And slightly happy about something. So hopefully he's, he's introducing uh, Thorsten Hines at some point. I mean, I wonder if this delay for BlackBerry 10, a lot of it had to do with the, the power shift up top. I mean, we had those co-CEOs for a while. Uh, and ev everyone's like, why aren't they leaving? I'm Everybody. stoked about BlackBerry 10. BlackBerry 10 is sleek. Actually, when I first saw it, I was like, wow. The openness of the BlackBerry 10 platform is fantastic. I really like the gesture-based iOS. It's very rare we get our hands on a device or a series of devices that can encompass every market. I was really surprised by his great fluidity, his simplicity of utilization. I was really surprised how smoothly it works. My first impression of BlackBerry 10 is wow. The screen is just wow. It's multitask. To be able to run email, social networking, all at the same time on one device. Latin America. The application for BlackBerry 10 also will allow BlackBerry users to share their experiences in points through social networks. We're going to develop something really special, the version of MTV Night Finder developed natively with Cascades. The Middle East. I like that everything is going to keep running all the time because I keep running, so I want my BlackBerry to keep running as well. It now supports Cascades. It gives a more smoother transition from Windows. One of the cool features in BlackBerry 10 is the balance. If I have a work profile, I can quickly shift to the, shift to the personal profile. If I'm in the personal profile, I can quickly shift to the enterprise profile. And North America. I think it's a big win for carriers, for users, for developers. BB10, I think with the new gesture approach, allows people to quickly access things and with the hub, see things across multiple forms of communication. We're really looking forward to BlackBerry Enterprise Service 10, take advantage of its new enhanced features so that we can have more manageability, more security. I think what excites me the most about the BlackBerry 10 is the camera and video functions. It's very exciting for us to, to further access, to give mobile access to our films uh, on this new platform. The keyboard is literally, and I've used many of them, literally the best experience, the fastest experience, the most efficient experience that I've ever seen. For me, BlackBerry 10 is the best mobile computing platform there is out there. It's going to be amazing. It's going to rock the world. If you are as excited as we are about BlackBerry 10, join the conversation at hashtag BlackBerry 10. And you won't have to wait much longer. We are just a few moments to launch. But first, joining us is someone who has spent over a year globetrotting, working with the companies that have been developing applications for BlackBerry 10. Vice President of Developer Relations, Alex Saunders. Thanks for being here, Alec. Hi, Jack. Good to be here. Well, they've really turned this into a talk show. So tell us a little bit about your journey. 
Well, I mean, the journey has been phenomenal. You know, last August we toddled it up and we thought that we had covered two and a half million miles of airtime between uh, myself and Marty Malik's business development team and we've, we haven't stopped since then. We've literally been to every continent on the planet except Antarctica, there aren't any developers there. Um, Yet. We've been to 44 cities, we've taken our tour everywhere, we've seen developers all over and connected with them and it's been an amazing experience all around. So what has the response been from developers in the RIM community? Actually, pretty phenomenal. Um, you know, <laughs> pretty disappointing. Nobody really likes of, it. Uh, developers that we've never I mean, what seen is he gonna before. Say? Young people. So, for example, in Latin America, we had a 12-year-old get up and give a pitch. Um, at one of our pitching contests, his dad actually had to do the translation because he didn't speak English. Um, in uh, India, we saw another 15-year-old who'd written a book about programming for BlackBerry 10. And, of course, we've been seeing this huge groundswell of support. Um, one of the things that we saw in January, we ran two online portathons. Now, a portathon is an event where developers get online and they work with my team to work to solve problems to get apps submitted to the store. We had 15,000 apps submitted. So this is like a pregame show and for Thorsten Hunt coming out and doing the actual launch. They're trying to, to do a spin on the normal CEO comes walking out and makes the big announcement. Totally stoked. Totally pumped. He's getting a lot of information about Anything apps like and development. Right sure. That's very important, um, obviously. To all the developers Any out there, phone. thank you. Uh, thank you for your commitment, your support, your dedication. With your help, we have put together what is bar none, the largest catalog of applications ever for a first-generation product launch in mobile. So thank you and thank you again. Thank you, Alex. Except it's not a first-generation product launch. <laughs> For a mobile, um, so launched in January 2013. has really embraced BlackBerry 10 and is excited to show you what they have to offer. But there's also another group that is over the top about today, and those are the dedicated BlackBerry 10 fans. Let's take a look at two who just couldn't keep their enthusiasm to themselves. By the way, if you go to www.rim.com slash newsroom.html, you can watch this stream without our commentary. Uh, there's there's no reason if you're annoyed by us interjecting that you need to to stick around. At the first start, that's it. Blackberry then will give a jaw-dropping moment for everyone. Now, this video is showing uh, people flying bumper stickers to say, honk if you want BlackBerry 10. I have 10. to share my passion. Which is an interesting way to do as marketing as by annoying other people. That's the challenge. Our homes. Blackberry 10, I'm dying to own it. Let's hit up this Blackberry Nation. Gosh, I hope they're putting those bumper stickers on their cars. Yellow bumper stickers that say honk. My name is Lil E. What went into the song was I started losing sleep waiting for the launch date of BlackBerry 10. I wanted to create No Sleep to BlackBerry 10 to give Team BlackBerry a song to get everybody ready and pumped up for the launch date, January 30th. I mean, is this a tongue-in-cheek joke about the delays? I mean, no sleep till back what Black I like Berry and support 10? about BlackBerry 10 is that you're able to do multiple things without uh, leaving the application. People in Dallas can't wait. Bring on BlackBerry 10. I think it's trying to show that they weren't just delaying because they're lazy. They were working very hard for to make music. Spread the word that BlackBerry 10 is on the move. You know, I think I saw one of those stickers on the back of a taxi here in Manhattan. And to Little E, hopefully... After As people in the chat room are pointing out, those stickers that say honk, we now, didn't in that package I ever hear anyone to honk. To share. It's the <laughs> tail of, or shall I say, it's the ponytail of Crackberry Kevin. A year ago, Kevin made a promise. Kevin, if you could stand up and join me. Hi, I kind of don't Hi like this anymore. So I heard a year ago you made a commitment. <laughs> I want, I want the announcement. I did, and the commitment was no cutting my hair until BlackBerry 10 officially launched. It's got a Great, so uh, BlackBerry 10 has officially launched, and I see that you still have your ponytail. What are you waiting for? I do. You know, I've, it's a lot of work growing long hair, and I've kind of fallen in love with my flowing locks. Tom, who do you think the stream is for? And, uh, I mean, is this for the general you know, public? The way it's being presented, this is for This is for the RIM fans. This is to try to get the, the people who are still into RIM, and there's a lot of a lot of folks who are just big fans of, of BlackBerry to, to kind of juice them up and, and get them excited. Juicing BlackBerry fans. So, well, ah. wow, we've got some scissors here. How about we just if you could take a lock or a, or just the hole? See, now, see, yeah, here's the problem with this little conceit right, here. Sure, this is it. all fun and games. The guy didn't cut his hair until it launched, but it hasn't One, launched. They haven't brought two, anybody out. Three. They haven't given us any details. You're cutting his hair too early. Well, this is Ooh, like the ball dropping in Times Square. <laughs>
Yeah, they're cutting another, off his ponytail. There it goes. Bradbury. The promotion for wow, Bradbury. she's just hacking Woo! it, too. Well, let's give him a round of applause. Using safety scissors from a third grader's pencil case. You know, do you have any clippers? We could put the logo of Blackberry on the side here. <laughs> no. Yep. No, no. Uh, uh, how stoked are you about Blackberry, the 10? I'm stoked. This is the day we've been waiting for for a long time, and it's, it's almost here, so let's do it. Let's do it. Thanks for being a good sport, man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Let well, me cut your hair. that is just some of the energy and excitement we have right now that have led us to this moment. Our yeah. global stages are set, and the wait is over. Ladies and gentlemen, this is BlackBerry 10. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president and CEO of Research in Motion, Torsten Hines. Oh. All right, good stuff. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good night, wherever you celebrate the launch of BlackBerry 10. Thanks for joining us here from New York to London, Dubai, Johannesburg, Paris, Jakarta, Delhi, and Toronto. And I guess I hear some noise in those cities right now, if I'm not mistaken. And for sure, to all of our employees watching around the world, we have definitely been on a journey of transformation. A journey to not only transform our business and our brand, but one which I truly believe will transform mobile communications into true mobile computing. It's been almost one year exactly since I was handed the reins at Research in Motion. And it has been easily the most challenging year of my career to date but it has also been by far the most exhilarating and the most rewarding one. And I remember people asking me how I felt about taking over the role as CEO. And all I kept saying was, it was one of the best opportunities I'd seen in my career to date. Because I know that innovation is at the heart of REM. You know, the one and thing about the crappy pre-announcement stuff is it makes the boring CEO uh, hype now, seem perfectly finally, reasonable. Here we are. <laughs> it's, it's anchor boring. So you know what boring sounds like. This is so exciting. It is. And so many people have played a role in getting us to this day. Our developer community and application partners our carrier and retail partners, our customers, and the members of the communities where we live and work. But most of all, it has been our employees. The people at RIM have been at their most creative, their most engaged, and their most committed. I really would like to take this moment to thank our employees and to congratulate you on your accomplishments. BlackBerry Good 10 Good morale is here. boosting move there. Good job. I used to keep that to the end. If you guys sat here, you were shills for us. Now this is one of the biggest launches in our industry. And today is actually not the finish line. It's the, it's the start. starting line. When we first gave you a look at our vision for BlackBerry 10, we told you we were building this with a specific set of customers in mind. People who use it's phones. People who are hyper-connected socially. The same thing. People <laughs> who have an appetite for getting things done. The true multitasker. The GTD crowd. And people who want to get the Probably most on purpose, yeah. out of their smartphones. It's people who need balance in both their personal and professional lives. People who want simplicity of having everything in one place. It's people who want to flow seamlessly from app to app and feature to feature without having to go in and out using a home button all the time. People who consider true multitasking a must have. And we all know these people are moving quickly and they need their mobile devices to keep them up to speed and help them get things done. And guess what? 
BlackBerry 10 will keep them moving. Yeah, so emphasizing We've productivity, emphasizing business. That's smart. To broadband, from analog to digital. And now we intend as RIM to lead the move from mobile communications to mobile computing, to true mobile computing. I wish you'd had said they're the mean? luckiest people in the BlackBerry world. We will soon give you more ways to connect your mobile experiences and yourself, not just to other people, but to the whole world around you. You will be in the middle of your personal Internet of Things, constantly connected to all your information in real time. So far, this sounds like every other phone. With BlackBerry's secure network, eh, Internet of Things. Well, I mean, maybe there'll be BlackBerry we will products. Be a leader in connecting so things? You to your Internet of Things. And this is what being connected will mean in the future. Internet of Things is the new we buzzword. We have created a platform that is able to work with other machines to extend you and your information beyond the mobile device to a car, to your home, or a healthcare system, or wherever you are. This is the promise of the BlackBerry 10 platform. Give me we some examples, Thorsten. Today, we're having a good browser, great messaging apps, a good camera and social networking on your phone is just expected. So with BlackBerry 10, how do we make sure we go beyond those expectations? First, BlackBerry 10 builds on and batters more than 20 years of our communications and security leadership. And it adds an industry-leading, secure, reliable, real-time operating system at the core. And BlackBerry 10 has a focus on content and apps. And it offers a user experience that adapts beyond anything you have seen before. But before I get to unveiling this platform in all its glory, I'm going to ask for a few more minutes of your time. Just saying we have reinvented this company is simply not enough. Today represents a new day in the history of BlackBerry. This better be worth it. A few years ago, we had to make a very serious decision adopt someone else's platform, or build a whole new one from ground up for BlackBerry. And we made the tough call to go it alone. And for that, I must thank a few people. First, to Dan My Dodge agent. and his team for providing a fantastic OS and building the software architecture that provides the foundation of BlackBerry 10. So either thanking these people or blaming them if this does not work. <laughs> thanking them before the Harbor announcement. Our engineering and software teams at both RIM and QNX just continue to amaze us with what they're pulling off. Second, we have built strong and very important relationships with our carrier partners and an ecosystem that has grown to over 650 carriers and distribution partners in more than 175 countries. And we want to thank Jim Balsili for this. Well, this is really Jim important. Shout out. Nice. Explain that RIM's not dead by any means, and the platform and is finally, super important to them. Today, you will see the amazing experience we are bringing to people with BlackBerry Hub, BlackBerry Flow, and Peak. And you and will what? see the connection between Hub, RIM Flow, and Peak and are the, the terms they use. Yep. For the inspiration <laughs> and innovation that led to these three That's amazing innovations in mobile computing, our heartful thanks go to Mike Lazaridis, who is in the audience today. Mike Lazaridis, shout out. Okay. A little uh, thanks to the get founders up. here. Right, thanks up. for getting out of the way, guys. I can do my job. He claps for himself. I did not notice that. Mike, from all people at RIM, thank you so much for guiding us into the future. The future is still hard work. Bringing an entirely new platform to the market and ushering this company through a really difficult transition took careful planning. And we absolutely knew it was risky. It took heartfelt and sometimes really brutal honesty with ourselves and with others. The delay in the it's announcement, I think, is meant to be a metaphor for the delay in the release. The next phase of growth Very subtle. and innovation of our company. We have transformed ourselves inside and out. 
and we have defined our vision. Hmm. A dedication to the boundless opportunities of mobile computing, which makes the day the perfect time for another big announcement I want to share. Oh, finally. The From first one, actually. From this point forward, RIM becomes BlackBerry. They've changed their name. Changing That's the good. name of the company. For the company, because a lot of people call RIM BlackBerry by accident, including myself. So thanks it for that. It is one brand. It is one promise. Our customers use the BlackBerry. Our employees work for BlackBerry. And our shareholders are owners of BlackBerry. From today on, we are BlackBerry everywhere in the world. So, stock symbol BB, the is that what I saw? The starting line that today represents begins with one consistent that. brand. A brand that is recognized around the world. Yes. BlackBerry has changed. We have redesigned the BlackBerry experience. I think let's we talk your stock exchange and the NASDAQ is BBRY. We have reinvented BBRY. this company and we want to reflect this in our brand. We are now more than ever a company that is united in our vision for mobile computing. And it all starts today with our renaming and with the global launch of BlackBerry 10. They're no longer research in motion. There are fundamental They're, pieces they've of They've arrested the motion that BlackBerry and always become fruits. Our uh, ability to communicate naming your technology company after a fruit has been successful for email. Apple. And the way we use our time. Why not? We knew we had to maintain that foundation in communications and give people what they want. And it needed to be simple and elegant. And the elegance in BlackBerry 10 is clear when you want to take action. I do have to acknowledge the many people in the chat room saying RIM app, is dead, but don't change. A video, a phone call, or a chat. Everything in BlackBerry 10 is there in one place for you. And with a simple swipe, you can share, you can consume, you can create. I'm really glad it's not in three act. places. One place is a good idea. That sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, Am good. I right? It's pretty good what you want, though. What you want, amazing? Excellence? <laughs> Come so on, journalists. <laughs> For me, that question cannot be answered without seeing the faces of our incredible BlackBerry employees. All 12,000 of them in 36 countries worldwide. And I want to invite them up on stage this right now. Is why this moment They're all doing the wave internationally. To them. Right. So I asked them to help count us up to the reveal of the new platform. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eagle. I like the ship with that stand. I love that. Ladies and gentlemen, we proudly present the BlackBerry Z10 and the BlackBerry Q10. The Q10 is the one with the 440 keyboard, makes a lot of sense for the Q, and the other is the touchscreen. Touch the only. new BlackBerry Z10 and the new BlackBerry Q10, powered by the platform BlackBerry 10. Aren't they beautiful? This is like a proud father showing off a newborn. Isn't he beautiful? Got like, a little more enthusiastic applause from the was jaded crowd. It's actually, because this products is this time. the window into the BlackBerry 10 experience. And we made sure by using the latest screen technology, the BlackBerry 10 screen images are clear, sharp, and incredibly vivid. Actually, what we did is we created a cinematic experience with this screen. Kneel before Zed. The back of the device offers a textured surface that makes it really comfortable to hold. Now, people are laughing about the texture surface already. I'm telling you, that's a big deal because I have a, I'm using or testing a Samsung phone and it flies out of my hands like you wouldn't believe because it's and the browser shiny is plastic. Incredibly fast and that's why we can't have nice things. And, elegant. and whatever you do, you're only one swipe away from the heart of all of your activities. And the slide that's shown the white version. Now, I've been using and BlackBerry 10 version. faithfully for a while now, and I'm the amazed Z10. by how responsive I can be and how quickly I can share information. 
This device aggregates information for me intuitively and it adapts to me and makes me even more efficient. I've also been testing the BlackBerry Q10. This is the first BlackBerry 10 smartphone with a physical keyboard. And we know there is a lot of physical keyboard lovers out there. Yes. Right? We heard you loud and clear. Here it is. We built the same fantastic BlackBerry 10 user experience, but with a traditional physical keyboard. And we built this for all those people who told us we just have to have a physical keyboard typing experience. That is one advantage room can have. People identify BlackBerry, I should say, as being uh, so no matter what good at physical keyboards. Yeah, they have spectacular keyboards, like ThinkPad keyboard, quality good. These BlackBerry 10 devices are simply the absolute best typing experience in the industry, period. The software keyboards. And meticulous attention has again been paid to every little detail of the Q10 too. Take a look at the glass weave cover. This material was designed exclusively for this product. You won't find it on any other mobile device. So you don't get the textured back it's on the thinner, keyboard one? Lighter and stronger it than seems plastic. To be a, a different texture. And it looks beautiful. So these are the devices, and I think it's time now for us to see them in action. Please join me in welcoming Vivek Bhardwaj on stage. Good morning, hey, everyone. How are we doing? Vivek, we have been on quite some journeys, road shows <laughs> it's been together. been a long year, yes. When we did all this, what did you learn about what's the most exciting part of BlackBerry 10? Oh, that's easy. So for me, it's got to be the BlackBerry Hub. One of the things that I noticed um, is I've got email, I've got Facebook, I've got Twitter, LinkedIn, BBM, everything combined together. And one of the things that I wanted to focus on is managing all of this. How do I save time? How do I reduce stress? Well, BlackBerry 10 and the BlackBerry Hub allows me to do that. So why don't you just show us how yeah, it works? Yeah, sure. So first off, I'm actually going to show you what we mean by BlackBerry Flow. And you mentioned it earlier. It's about moving in between applications. It's not about home buttons, opening, closing. You can see as I open up applications, and minimize them just by swiping from the very bottom how effortless and easy this is. I have all of my applications running real time, right? Nothing's being paused. This is real time, true multitasking. That is the big and advantage of QNX, fantastic. which they've built BlackBerry OS but 10 on top you know of. What? Sometimes you get immersed in a lot of content. This display is gorgeous, and you often have a cinematic experience no matter what you're looking at. And, you know, Torsten, you and I have kind of been looking at a lot of... Turn off the app switching. Recently. It looks pretty so, smooth. Uh, sure uh, although this I don't believe Torsten has and said anything about internal specs. You could be reading a document. It doesn't matter. You're immersed in that moment. So, let's play this for you now. Good. Now, think about this. I'm connected in so many different ways. And I want to be able to look at what's just come in. So that red light, that famous red flash starts blinking. What do I do? Well... By peeking to the hub, I've never left the experience. Nothing's paused, nothing's compromised. You can compromised. see that video still running there. It continues there. to operate. Fast, fluid, reversible gesture. Wow, fantastic. So easy that's, to use. That was, that's been available in the playbook for some time now, so mm -hmm. bringing that to the phone is really good. Multitasking. Exactly. I do just enjoy this video, by the way. So, yeah. one of the things you'll notice... But I didn't do this with my car. <laughs> So one of the things you'll notice is I've got a bill that's come in, don't really care about it, get back to what I was no, doing. You don't right? want to read There you go. <laughs> I delete them anyway. So if you look at this activity, in and out, that doesn't exist on BlackBerry 10. It's about flow, and this is the experience we're delivering. Now let's say something important does come up. Let's say it's a BBM, like uh, my buddy Gianni. Hey, are you busy? Uh, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> So you can see how we've moved from content straight into my BlackBerry busy. Hub. I'm managing everything. This is the power of BlackBerry Flow and Peak. And, and you know what I find exciting? Yeah. Is that with this flow, we have designed a user inter interface and experience. You can only do this one-handed and with one thumb. Did you recognize this? 
Exactly. Only one thumb and you have the full control of where you want to go and what you want to do. It is a fantastic Gorgeous. experience. So simple and easy. You know, now we're in the BlackBerry Hub. How about I show you some more? You'll notice that everything's easy to manage. Like I said, it's all of my channels. It could be anything. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. You see, if I filter each view, see a friend of mine has sent me a request. Now, again, I'm not leaving the Hub. I can confirm and accept that right there. And you're not opening Facebook, right? No, it's exactly. It's deeply integrated into the Hub. So there's no in and out. There's no thing point of, you know, which which application do I have to use now? You're just naturally flowing and responding to what's coming into you. Exactly. And this is similar Same to what Windows LinkedIn. Phone touts as you know, well. Even with Twitter, one of the things that I love to do is actually tweet straight from within the hub. And again, you can do that right here. So imagine, it's not just about managing messages coming in. It's all of your activity, engagement, in one single place. But it goes beyond that. So, you know, you and I have a lot of messages, and I tell you what, I'll hold that down. You can see how gestures come in. To manage, I'll delete the bill because I don't really care about it. <laughs> now, you'll notice that as I have more and more content come in, I can action more and more things. There's a vacation email that I do need to, well, at some point, take well, a break. Putting all your messages, what? tweets, vacation. and Facebook I'll messages all in one place. I mean, that seems like later. a novel concept, yeah, although, like you said, Windows Phone does have something on. similar. And again, you can see I mean, is this going to appeal to people managed. who like apps? I mean, but it seems a little like a new experience for lots of people. It's not things that have just come in or things in the past. It's about things that are about to happen, right? Your next meeting, your next... It's a productivity event. play, right? Well, and uh, if anything, this steals down, from Microsoft's exactly potential customers coming. more than others. And again, without having the calendar open, it's part of the hub. It's integrated. And so far, they're not showing anything exactly. new. So you have the, the past, no. and you have the future at one swipe of your thumb. Fantastic. Great. Great. Just Love the first it. official it. presentation of it. A universal inbox. Now, you and I obviously have a lot of meetings, and the most important thing, certainly for me, and I know it is for you, is the people you're meeting, mm -hmm. right? Who, why, when did you last meet them? Well, let me show you a meeting on BlackBerry 10. You can see the details coming in. But the most important thing is people. We automatically start pulling down photos from social networking sites like LinkedIn, so you know ah. who you're meeting. You're not stumbling around in a coffee shop trying to find out who you're about to meet. You know, if I select an individual, That's nifty. Um, like Greg, still standing on productivity. Once the again. content starts populating. This is all For real sure. time. You'll notice that we've actually recognized all the connections and networks that you have with Greg. We've also pulled in experience, education from LinkedIn. Everything's kept up to date. And we know that Greg, like me, uses a BlackBerry. So you can invite him to BBM straight away. It's that. We have these tiles that pull from. So oh, wait. You also want to know about Greg's environment. So what we're doing right now is pulling information about company information, social updates, posts on Twitter, Facebook. Doesn't that look just beautiful? And we call it, it the it's people hub. I mean, BlackBerry hub. all that information and real time. Yeah, I'm looking at this operating system. I wouldn't mind it as an app lastly, on another operating system. Think of the last time you met Greg. Universal inbox? The sure. email you exchanged, the, the last phone call, the last Facebook tweet, all of this historical timeline comes together. And this is all very of similar to Windows earlier. Phone. I love the BlackBerry Hub. Oh, yeah. Tim Stevens on Engadget says he thinks Windows Phone is prettier. Yeah, you can actually swipe with one finger and get right into your stuff. I mean, it's Windows think, Phone. Think about doing what Vivek just showed us on, on a different system, right? You ha would have to go to LinkedIn and search, Facebook and search. You would have to open exactly. several browser pages of the company, of the individual. And here, you just have this as one fingertip adapted to you and it gives you immediate information that is relevant to you that you need at that very moment. Yeah, so that is the people hub. That is the benefit of the hub, right? From Windows Don't Phone. search anymore. The device adapts to you and your meetings and what you need to know and it delivers the content that is really, really meaningful. That's a very strong concept. Yeah. So we talked about uh, the keyboard. I yes. showed the physical and you know we talked about the uh, keyboard on the full touch device. And we have the aspiration to be the best keyboard experience, period. So how do we do this on the full touch device? On touch? Well, let me compose a new email. One of the things you'll notice is the design. The look and feel is BlackBerry through and through. Those famous frets, white font on black keys. Everything just feels like a BlackBerry typing experience. But you know what we really Which to existing on? BlackBerry and, fans you know, is, is big. Is, that's a big I positive. Certainly, like you've been traveling quite a lot recently. 
you're rushing through an airport, maybe you've got a coffee, a, a bag, whatever it may There's be. There's an Air Force scenario just again. Get a fast, accurate sentence out. Well, we built the ability to flick words right to the screen. So you can see how easy. <laughs> TikTok points out their batteries down at 25%. Flick word after word to the wow. screen. I call this. I call this writing without typing. That is the magic of the yes. keyboard. Fantastic. Great. It's the adaptive quick, typing. One thumb. Typing on a glass screen with one thumb. Magic. And, you know, in fitting sure with BlackBerry magic. Flow, we wanted gestures to consume the entire keyboard. So deleting words. I'm just swiping to the left. I might call it swift key or swipe. You want numbers and symbols. How frustrating is it sometimes to add a date, add a number, or a, a question mark, or an exclamation? Well. Swipe down anywhere on the keyboard. It's that easy. But we wanted to go more than just building gestures and one thumb typing. We wanted, we wanted to understand exactly what you're saying. And that doesn't matter if it's in English, so German, you're plant or something any in your other brain. language. That's the magic of BlackBerry 10. So with multi-language support, I oh, simply okay. start typing. And I'm going to give my best shot at French here. <laughs> and you can see, for those of you that understand French, I still haven't learned it. <laughs> He's apologizing and to the Quebecois right now. To German. Oh, and you. you can see how easy that is. Wow. Wow. There's real trust and confidence. We want you to have that same typing experience you had on a physical BlackBerry keyboard device on touch. Simplicity, elegance, confidence. Exactly. That's what this keyboard is all about. It's a fantastic experience. And, and no toggling between languages. It's just there for it's you. Nifty. So a lot of these features can be replicated yeah, in other devices absolutely. at this point. You know, I mean, you can switch I'm keyboards on an Android, and probably something like this. And I, I think someone in the chat room said iOS now officially has the worst well, keyboard. I'd, I'd say that's right. That's true, because you can never change it. So that's a big deal. It's that easy. And that's the BlackBerry keyboard. So I think we're holding to the promise that we have the best typing experience on that's a physical keyboard as much as on a touch keyboard. Um, what do you want to look at next? We have <laughs> talked about enterprise didn't prepare a this. lot. There's a lot of discussion about Propter down. your own device to work. Exactly. There's concerns about security from CIOs. But there's also concerns you know, about privacy from the individuals that own those devices that they bring to work and want to get connected. Uh, we see people. You know, running around with two devices. You know, one is the corporate one, one is their personal one, and I think that's a problem that we aspire to solve Absolutely. for those constituents. Now, in, in Samsung process. dinged uh, Rim about them, this so in their commercial. Sure. So, like I said earlier, I've been using obviously the BlackBerry Z10 for quite a while, and I've been managing it in work. And well, I've had very little personal time, but when I have had, hey, welcome to the club. <laughs> Thank you. So when I have had, one of the things that I've loved about Balance is it's, it's not overwhelming. It's easy to use. A single gesture on the screen, once you're activated to BES 10, allows you to move between personal and work. It's that easy. Right? You're not looking for a settings menu buried under, looking for lots of controls. It's very easy to just move between both of these spaces. You'll notice, as I went into work, everything's changed. Applications, yep. the wallpaper. Even BlackBerry World is now a work and private enterprise catalog. These are all the applications that my enterprise wants me to use. But the best thing about Balance is everything we believe about BlackBerry Flow. You're not in and out of personal and work, right? Your work and personal lives are very blended today. Well, we deliver the same thing on BlackBerry 10. You'll notice as I move back to personal, I open up BlackBerry World, which is just full of such rich content now. I minimize that. Both applications coexist, work and personal. It's secure, it's encrypted, it's managed, but you get a single unified user experience. That is, I think, a great solution to the user. Yes. It is a great solution for the CIO. I'd like to know more about how it's secure. It's part of the device, and it's a great solution for the private user because he owns his privacy. Absolutely. All on one device, so I hope that we will see people merging from two devices into one, which then will be a BlackBerry 10. <laughs> Absolutely. And again, you can see another example here. <laughs>
the one thing that they implied here is that you can have two instances of an app run, one in personal, one in work, and they wouldn't share data. Right, because BlackBerry World, there's a there's a, the ability to have your own corporate uh, app store versus the greater BlackBerry World. Security, privacy in a single user experience. And that's BlackBerry Balance. This was also announced a while ago. Good. Um, so that, I think, is a great innovation in, in BlackBerry. And it's pretty Work apps are denoted features. with a briefcase symbol on their icons. There's another feature okay. Didn't notice that. on BlackBerry you can't live without. And it's a successful service that we have with 60 million subscribers globally, mm -hmm. uh, loving it, using it. And that is BlackBerry Messenger. Yes. But I think there's some exciting news to share around BBM as well. There is. So, you know, I've been using BBM since I first joined BlackBerry, and I've always enjoyed the real-time nature of it, right? I know when something's been delivered, when something's been read, and the delight of knowing that someone's writing back to me. Um, I've used it for work, with family, friends. But on BlackBerry 10, we wanted to take it so much further. We wanted to push the boundaries, and we wanted to build mobile computing inside this messaging service. So now, you'll notice that every time you go into BBM, there'll be a prompt and a call icon at the very top right. Well, I've been talking to a buddy of mine, Andrew, who, uh, as you can see, is kind of wishing me luck with the launch, and hopefully the demo's going well so far. Um, now, we've been talking most this morning on BBM, but with BlackBerry 10, we're able to take it that much further. How about we make the very first public BBM video call? Oh, wow, that is exciting. Ah, yeah, so now they have FaceTime. So, Andrew's in the UK right now at our London launch event. So uh, we're going to give him a call, and oh, there he is. Oh, well, there he is. Hey, Andrew, this is Vivek and Torsten. Hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey. How is it in, in London? <laughs> what carrier are they on? We've gone from a chat straight into a video call. Efforts. Probably a Wi-Fi, actually. This is yeah. BlackBerry Flow. We're not moving in and out of applications. But what's really important for us, like I said, is to push the boundaries. BBM has been about it's very gutsy to do a live call to another person in London. So again, when Apple does it, it's usually somebody like in the back room. We're going to introduce yeah. what we call BBM Screen Share. This is a brand new feature that allows you not only to share your camera, like most other video chat applications can, but also share your entire screen. So Andrew, how about you share your screen with us in New York and the rest of the world? Is that a Cat Five cable plugged into the side? I don't so you'll notice so. what happens I'm thinking now. what that is. AV cable is and probably a... Yeah, I don't think it's Cat5. This is his screen, guys, coming from London wow. to my BlackBerry. Although if BlackBerry is Cat5, I'd be thrilled. It's probably a, uh, a USB charger and then the uh, you can mm -hmm. see application AV after out. application come together. And it looks like you've got some great apps there already. Again, the call continues. Imagine the possibility... Are they sharing the screen? Pictures, websites, books... In the enterprise, they are. Documents. documents with our docs to go, spreadsheets, PowerPoint, everything real time. It's that easy. Oh, wow. Now, Andrew, I know you've been in the UK. So you can do screen now. share uh, on BlackBerry messaging some interesting via video. Pictures. So how about we uh, see a few of them now? From there you phone. go. Andrew's just opening up the pictures app. And as he does it, we can see picture after picture. Doesn't that look beautiful? Unbelievable. Wow, that is a great photo. Whoa, yeah, we want to check that. <laughs> so I tell you Rotate what, Andrew, I'd love to keep talking to you, but uh, we do have to get on with the rest of the show. So uh, do BBM that photo across to us, and uh, best of luck in London. Thanks. And that was BBM Video Chat with Screen Chat. Wow. This is good. It is. This is really, really good. Screen Chat is really impressive. That's is, pretty cool. You know, a great consumer tool. You're a summer on vacation, right? You just That's another absolutely fantastic thing for productivity. It's like, let me just show you. So open the, did you open the doc? Did you have this open at the same time? It's very, very clean. You see cell C5? That's how far our sales have fallen, IAS. I'm going to zoom in for you. So, and you mentioned, you mentioned you vacation. Um, so, did I? Yes. Um, at some point, I'm going to take one. Now, one of the things that happens with our smartphones today is we're managing content all over the place. Emails, <laughs> we work our employees to death. <laughs> on the browser, we That's why they thanked photos. them eight times already. And we found there's no real way to, to bring this all together, to manage and organize all of this. So we're going to introduce a brand new application called BlackBerry Remember. And really, this is about bringing content together. So let me show you it on my BlackBerry Q10. Now, one of the things I love 
obviously about this product is the always on keyboard. It's ready to go. But you noticed I flagged that email earlier on. Well, the minute I flagged that vacation email, it's gone into remember. If I'm in the browser and I'm looking at holiday destinations, I can actually share this to remember. I can now move this to a vacation folder. I can add a due date, which I'm not going to do right now. Oh, I, come on. <laughs> I don't want you knowing exactly when I'm leaving. But uh, I can add attachments, photos, videos, even a voice note. Remember to pack shorts. I know it's kind it's of an Evernote. I'm not telling you. Yeah, it appears to be an integrated Evernote. So it would be system-wide, so you can, act, you can remember Again, anything from the operating keyboard, system, or that can run on the operating system. I love is I that might be very advantageous for the app. as compared Look to Evernote. how fast and how quick that is to bring up the application. Now, you'll notice that I've got a number of folders in here already. Well, there's the vacation folder. There's an unfiled entries folder. If we go into that, there is the email I flagged earlier on. I can move that now straight to the vacation folder. Save it. As I come back out, everything's there. My browser bookmarks, documents, emails. I'm able to organize things even better. But what's really interesting about Remember is it's not just the things you actually pull together. It's a single source and destination for every type of content. Outlook notes and tasks are integrated straight away. And for you Evernote users out there, that's also integrated. You can see yeah. my Evernote there notebook right now. And that's BlackBerry Remember. Everything about one project in one place. Exactly. Again, simplicity, comfort, immediacy, real-time access to all the information that you need. That is the theme in BlackBerry 10. It's just another great example of how consequently we've put this throughout the entire user experience. Great. Um, we've seen those pictures from Andrew from yes. uh, London. Yes. I hope you guys have a good time in London and the other cities too. But uh, why don't we talk a bit about media, camera, yeah, sure. you know, what's new in BlackBerry 10 so, in that area? You know, we, we've talked about the camera and we've seen some magic moments. I'm actually going to take the time right now to do a bit of a camera demo. Um, I'm going to use my white Z10. Doesn't this look beautiful, oh. by the way? <laughs> Hold it up. There That's you right. go. Look at that. <laughs> now, this is going to be an interesting uh, potential career move for me. I'm going to ask you to pose, Torsten, if you don't mind. One of the things oh, this is going to show up the quality of the camera really here. It's really easy to use. So tap anywhere to take a photo. And a brightly lit uh, stage. Let's you see if we can take a good photo with it. Well, just move focus around. It's that easy. But what really stands out is creating that perfect shot. So we have BlackBerry Time Shift. And what this allows us to do is capture that moment. <laughs> so I can move the entire photo. This also exists on other platforms. And I, Torsten, I can go into your face. I'll be as uh, <laughs> gracious as I can here. Um, and I'll stop for now. Oh, there's a good wink. There you go. How's that? And it's that easy. And that's the camera on Time Black Z10. Ever tried to take a picture of four kids, open eyes, <laughs> smiling at the same time? Yes. Um, quite a challenge. Yeah. No. Great, great media experience, but it doesn't stop there, right? I no, mean, no, uh, it doesn't. Once you have a picture, what yeah. are you going to do with it? So you can make it even better. And one of the things I want to show you now, if I go to my pictures application, again, you can see some great pictures here, naturally the one that uh, Andrew showed us earlier. You'll notice now I can hit edit. The minute I do that, we launch in a built-in editor. Again, this is mobile in mind. So Blackbird are doing a lot this of the work with the software. Look at the saying, gestures, we don't have our own photo editor. Effects. We have these uh, cool functions in our camera. Simple You're not going to need apps. I can go to styles. iOS does I that. I can actually add a film strip effect. I could got be built-in filters guys, I the photo that. editor. But you can see how easy it is to use. There's, I a, there's a built-in photo editor on one of the platforms. Crop exactly to what I need. But do they have filters? And it's as easy as that. Who and cares? that's the picture <laughs> editor on BlackBerry 10. <laughs> Blackberry cares. Yeah, Android does. It, it, this is, they're, they're ticking it a box here just, because people are going to say, well, do, what is the camera like? They got to show it, but it's not revolutionary. That we know from other systems, it was all within the applications, exactly. all within the hub, all within this one application. The, yeah. the natural flow of getting things done comfortably. So, you want to go on vacation? <laughs> At some point. Like Awkward pause. Like You're fired. <laughs> you couldn't take I'm a clear sure picture of me? Of get out of here. Now, now, what did you do to get an even more exciting media experience on a BlackBerry 10, either well, for work or for vacation? Yeah, exactly. I'm glad you so, asked. 
You know what BlackBerry users are like. We love not only to live stories, but create them as right. well. So we built an experience which you know, I, I personally have used and I've enjoyed so much. Uh, it's called StoryMaker. So naturally, this is a global launch, and uh, the sites are all over the world. I've been asking them over the last day or so to send content across, photos, videos. And now I'd like to pull it all together and tell a beautiful story. Well, with StoryMaker, you can do that. Again, remember the editor. This is easy to use. You're not going to sit here for two hours to create really beautiful content. I can go in. I can choose my media. So I'll select a number of pictures and videos here. I can add some music. So we'll take a song from Alicia Keys. I can put titles and credits, so I can really personalize this entire experience. And when I hit Done, we automatically bring the content together, add transitions, animations, and effects. And you can change them on the fly. It's so easy to use, and it looks so beautiful. You can actually then save this and share it with all your family and friends. So how about we take a moment to look at some of the BlackBerry 10 story? This is similar to like things that iMovie, iPhoto do, except it's built into the operating system. Sort of nifty. Because when you're at that airport scenario and you're killing time, you're like, I'm going to make a video right now. You want your child to know what you look like and what you've been doing while you were away. But can you do this all with one thumb? That's the question I have. <laughs> and that's Blackwood Story Maker. Wonderful. That's Windows Movie Maker. So, Oops. lots of examples around BlackBerry Flow. No in and out paradigm. Just one swipe, and you can do you know whatever you want to do. Vivek, thanks a bunch for doing this with me. Thank you, Justin. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Really, really exciting to explore the capabilities of that system. I mean, there's so much in it that is, that is so uh, exciting and, and innovative. It's new hardware. It's a new operating system. Lots of new ideas, as you've just seen. It's a new way of sharing and connecting. This is the new BlackBerry. So far, a very good phone, but I, I'm still waiting for that wow thing that, that makes people who otherwise wouldn't care take notice. And it's not just a new That's what people think this launch is too is late, because a lot of this would be excellent two years ago. Working with our partners. But now it's just like everybody else. We have worked else. with partners to offer the best services like maps, camera, video, and keyboard, as you just have seen. We've also been working more strategically and more openly than ever before with leading application partners because the platform of BB10 allows us to do that as it is an open platform. In fact, we will launch with an amazing collection of music, TV shows, and movies with all eight major studios signing on to provide their video content in all major music labels available in BlackBerry World. Yeah, this is BlackBerry World again, another box ticking off, an important one. A lot one, of things to choose from playing catch up here. And, BlackBerry uh, Flow is like great. I think BlackBerry Flow is something that they have an advantage of. BlackBerry Balance is good. It's probably one of the better profile switchers, but it's not the only one. ...target the top applications, because I know that matters to many of us and you uh, across the world for BlackBerry 10. Please, let's welcome Marty Malik. Verge already has their BlackBerry Z10 review up. That was fast. The embargo must have ended at 8 a.m. Right, Pacific. You. Before I talk about the content and applications on BlackBerry 10, first I want to take a moment just to thank our partners for their excitement, their passion, and their support. Their belief in BlackBerry 10 is absolutely amazing, and it's helped us make this launch a huge success right out of the gate. I applaud them for their commitment. Thank you. Many people didn't believe we could create a BlackBerry that delivers an incredible application and content experience. But we did. It's BlackBerry 10. This was a total company-wide effort, the flawless execution by the engineers and the content teams to, to deliver a deeply integrated solution for content and applications is remarkable. Today, I can say with absolute confidence that the deliberate decision to build the platform with developers and applications at the heart of it has paid off. 
We are launching BlackBerry 10 with more apps by far than any first generation operating system. The support of the developer community is outstanding. We already have over 70,000 applications. Uh, the, the Verge review basically says that it is a good phone, over but it disappoints in a few areas. The new UI doesn't always pay off, and battery life is a serious concern. And with the momentum that we've built, we will continue to see thousands Sounds of apps. Sounds a bit like the Lumia line when it was introduced. Like, hey, this is decent, now, but is it too late? Now, while we know that having a great selection of apps is critical, we also know that everybody has their favorite apps, the apps they use all the time. And when they get their BlackBerry 10 devices, they're going to be looking for those apps. I'm not going to keep you in suspense. Yes, huh. we have Skype committed to BlackBerry 10. This it yes, reminds me of when Microsoft started touting the apps to that they got. 10. They don't come as excitement to me. And yes, we have WhatsApp committed to BlackBerry 10. Because I haven't Black been waiting 10. for them. Like you were saying, these, these are just mm. checkbox things. You've got to make yeah. sure that you have Please the things that people are used to. 10. So if you're going to switch at all, you have the and same yes, experience. We have Angry Birds committed to BlackBerry 10. You have to have Angry Birds. I guess it's so. not a serious phone. I'm thrilled to say that we a have not 46 fun fun. top applications, not even just a few hundred. We have over 1,000 of those top applications from around the world committed to BlackBerry 10. Across. I don't have any Google apps because I think Microsoft across they found every out that Google's not doing anything for across Windows. Across every region of the globe. We have leading app partners building applications for BlackBerry 10. So let me highlight a few. In social, we have Facebook, Twitter, Foursquare, Uvu, LinkedIn, amongst many others. And gaming. They essentially have, have to strength. do this, though. Where's my water? Where's so my berry? So many people are saying they don't have They're any on apps. BlackBerry 10. But Disney games, EA games, that's pretty impressive. And there's more games. Jetpack Joyride. Sega with Sonic, Electronic Arts, Game Loft, um, in media. I wonder how these games are going to appear on the Songza, two different screen sizes Soundhound, of the Q10 and the Z10. Press Reader, Audio, Tune In, just to name a few. And our lineup in business. The Verge basically reports that the, the battery couldn't make it through Physical an entire WebEx, day all the time. Now, the Economist, nice thing is you can pop Reuters, that back Bloomberg, off of the Z10 and swap Fox, the battery. BMC Software. All yeah, but for, some, for a company that's you know, hanging its hat on productivity, apps, you want to have a battery apps. that can survive. We have Probably that multitasking. We have apps in uh, healthcare, uh, finance, and government. It keeps everything running at full it's speed really all the time. It's really remarkable to see all of these top app partners committed to BlackBerry 10. And let's keep in mind, this is a net new platform. It's only launched today. So how do we accomplish this? By delaying it's a new code base, that's fair. By identifying yeah. our top targets. You know, the apps that are on other platforms, the apps people talk about, the apps that people use the most. We did this for both the global and local brands because we realized the importance of delivering a locally now my relevant content carriers experience. and pricing at this point. It's important that no matter oh, where you it's are, in the virtual view. if you're in Dubai, Johannesburg, Verizon, AT New Delhi, LTE. Paris, Toronto, Jakarta, London, or here in New York City, it's important that you get the content that you want. We built a global team. And for over a year, our focus has been to partner with these application providers. We went to them to establish true partnerships, to show them the great opportunity that BlackBerry 10 represents. And now we're delivering on that promise. Our partner success is our success. But as Torsen said earlier, a full content experience, it's not just about apps and games. BlackBerry World. It seems like all the embargoes have lifted, so there's the extra things about this, for all the Z10 Blackberry on uh, 10 applications, and gadget. It's a clip on speakerphone, charger videos, bundle, and cases. And music. That sounds we more have, interesting than this. In the US, we have all eight of the major movie studios and leading television networks delivering their content on BlackBerry 10. When it comes to music, we're offering a huge catalog of songs, all the Something major record labels, music gateway, and the NFC powered. Nobody will That's feel they're lacking up. in applications and content on BlackBerry 10. And the great thing is that getting this content is the easiest it's ever been. We focused on the end-to-end -end experience. We made it easy to discover, to purchase, to download applications and content. You can install multiple applications simultaneously. And there's no need to reboot your device. It's a new BlackBerry with amazing content 
on a brand new platform. There's more apps, there's more top apps, and there is definitely more to come. Thank you. That's their pitch that they have the apps. Well, they were talking about being hyper-connected, social, something or others. So uh, that's their user base. You have to have these apps. And uh, according to Clayton Morris, the BlackBerry app is not built by Facebook. So it's probably one of Brim's homegrown. Trying to do a video demo of all the different applications that they have. Showing off an application I don't know. <laughs> Some photo applications. Taking photos of a Blackberry playbook, actually. I didn't see Dropbox on that. I don't know if you did, Tom. I saw Box, but I didn't see Dropbox. Doesn't mean it's not there, I just didn't see it. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be great for BlackBerry fans. And it might swing a few people who are thinking about leaving or just left BlackBerry back. I don't see anything yet that's going to take somebody who's not interested in BlackBerry now and make them interested. Right, the ecosystem tie-in with Android, if you have a bunch of apps that you like, or if, you, if you're on iOS and you have media, so you're stuck there too, there's really nothing about the BlackBerry 10 that's going to drag you over going, oh, this is completely a different experience, or this is something that is compelling in a way that will pull people away from whatever loyalties they have already. Dropbox is there. Thank you, chat room and Tom. This is just a, for those on the audio podcast, this is just a video showing all of the features, all of the apps that they have, all the music and video options, the magazine options uh, showing. And, and what RIM is really done today is emphasize this is a great phone for productivity for business-minded people and we are now at least at par with everybody else you can't say we don't have the apps uh you can say we may not get the apps first that's always that's still a criticism of android but they they have all the major apps you can't say that they don't have entertainment options Marty, they pretty much do everything you would expect a smartphone to do now off. as i said new operating system new hardware new strategic partners a new store a new blackberry and an entirely new way of thinking on an entirely new platform. Now, I know what you're thinking. When can I get it? Mm hmm That's what Randall Schwartz so, is thinking. <laughs> by the end of February, we will be completing lab testing with 110 carriers globally. Worldwide, we have several key markets that are revealing pricing and availability today. In the U.S. market, our carrier partners AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, and T-Mobile will begin announcing pre-registration and price plans today. We expect availability with most. Yeah, great. Thank you. So no price? They're going to make we the carriers do We expect the availability with most U.S. carriers for the BlackBerry Z10 to be Verizon in March. On the front page. In Canada, the BlackBerry Z10 will be available on February 5th already. And pricing will vary by carrier partner, but it will retail for around $149.99 on a three-year contract. In the United Arab Emirates, one of our most important markets, the BlackBerry Z10 will be available on February 10th. And look at the UK. The BlackBerry Z10 will be available tomorrow from everything everywhere, O2, Vodafone, phones for you. British Telecom, 3UK, and Carphone Warehouse. That is something. Wow, tomorrow for the UK, well done. Looking for exciting launch. As I said, price points will vary according to carrier and retail partners. The BlackBerry Z10 smartphones will be available fully subsidized, also on competitive pay monthly contracts. $150 US, not bad at all. Partners says, uh, Bloomberg says the device is going to cost $599 unsubsidized in the United today. States. So we will announce new pricing and availability information as carriers roll it out around the world. So I won't hit the US until March. And I know everyone is eager to try the BlackBerry Z10. But before you do, carrier testing. I just want to make another big announcement. Today, it isn't just about unveiling a new platform or a new product. It is about changing a culture 
both within BlackBerry and hopefully our world. There has been much speculation leading up to this day, much of it around BlackBerry 10, but I hope you understand that isn't just about today. Our success will come from listening to our customers. To do so, we're directly engaging in a dynamic set of conversations with successful, creative entrepreneurs and artists to inspire the future of BlackBerry. We're also engaging in conversations with working moms, by the way, the largest growing sector of the workplace. Our goal is to better their lives and simplify their lives too. So to accomplish these goals, we actually have taken an extraordinary step by creating a new position at BlackBerry, a global creative director position. We wanted someone at the top of her field, well-respected, immensely creative, and very talented. We needed someone who incorporates technology and connectivity into her day-to-day -day work. She is a 14-time Grammy Award winner singer-songwriter, an author, a film and theater producer, a world-renowned philanthropist, one of the top 30 people in the world on Twitter, a wife and a mother, an original BlackBerry power user, and now back to BlackBerry. She's BlackBerry's new global creative director. Please welcome Mrs. Alicia Keys. Alicia Keys has been named global creative director for BlackBerry. That means that's the celebrity we keep on retainers. Sort of like when Lady Gaga, I assume, yeah. is on Polaroid. Unless she's actually going to do corporate work. I mean, we've seen Dr. Dre do that with beats and things. Thank you so much. Great Just bring out Jessica Alba Alicia already, says Furniture Guy. We're so excited to have you as part of our BlackBerry family. Oh my goodness, this company's I am on fire. so excited as well. Thank you for reaching out for me. Thank you for giving me an early look at this beautiful phone. I love the new browser. It's super fast. I love the hub, the design, the flow. You know, I, I'm definitely a fan of that. I'm obsessed with the time shift. I love the camera is great and the way that you can capture the picture in that way. Um, and I definitely love how you can switch from work to play mode through balance. Maybe she should have done the keynote. I love that. I think it's a good Lots of energy here. for all She's of us good. to put work aside when we need to. Yes, the performer we're there. trying to do to make life easier for people. That's why we developed that fantastic yes. innovation. Yes. Um, you were a long time BlackBerry user and then we lost you for a while. What <laughs> happened? Let's see. That, that is true. Let me see how I best describe this. It's kind of like, you know, I was in a long-term relationship with BlackBerry, and then I started to notice some new kind of hotter, attractive, sexier phones at the gym, and um, I kind of broke up with you for something that had a little more bling. But I always missed the way you organized my life and the way that you were there for me at my job, and so I started to have two phones. I was kind of playing the field. Um, <laughs> But then you called and you told me that you were working out. You added a lot more features, a new platform. You got a lot faster. All of that was true. Man. And now we're exclusively dating again and I'm very happy. Oh, so are we. <laughs> <laughs> so are we. <laughs> and, okay. And, uh, I give you a promise we're going to fight really hard to keep you as our global creative director. Um, but tell us a little bit about what got you excited about this opportunity to work with us again. Oh, there's so much synchronicity and I'm fascinated by technology. I've always wanted to work with a, work directly with a technology company, but I do have a pretty demanding job that takes a lot of my time, so it would have to make sense, you know. And so I wanted to do something where I could grow professionally and personally and really have an impact on shaping a technology platform. Um, the music business has changed dramatically, and because of that, there are so many opportunities in the creative space, particularly with the BlackBerry. So I read an interview with you, actually, that oh. I really love. Okay, Rem. <laughs> where I you mean were talking Blackberry. about the power of mobile computing, and you were saying that we're just at the beginning of a mobile revolution, and how the laptop, in so many ways, is becoming extinct. So. That was an exact parallel to me. 
with the changes in the music business. So we have a lot in common, and we have is this there one more thing? opportunity to explore. Today. I believe so. Yes, and this we're new position. looking forward to do this together. Mm -hmm. by Alicia Keys. Mm -hmm. um, it's exciting for us to also understand the, uh, the, the synonyms between music and our technology platform, and yes. we really want to evolve it into that space. And I know we together, we can absolutely make that happen. So yes. we're absolutely excited about that opportunity. Now, you know, you're signed up for a job, yes. right? So uh, yes. tell us, what are you going to do for us? I'm extremely committed. I'm a very committed, focused individual. So I'm going to work closely with the app designers, the developers, the content creators, the retailers, the carriers to really explore this BlackBerry 10 platform and create ideas for its future. Um, I'm definitely going to start with other super women who also love BlackBerry, a big demographic for BlackBerry. I'm also going to yes. work with people in the entertainment and music business to cr inspire creative projects. And most importantly, I really love, I want to further enhance this concept of having your work life and your personal life all together in one device. I really want to bridge the gap between the work phone and the play phone. So it's a big job and it's a super hands-on role. Um, but I am extremely excited and ready to jump in and work closely with you and your incredible team. So if your app doesn't compile, sure Tim Stevens at Engadget suggests you call Alicia Keys. Thank you. I'm sure her phone number will be default in your contacts list on your BlackBerry 10. Keep moving projects that you have been kicking into gear already. Love the Keep Moving project. Um, BlackBerry's mantra is to inspire people to keep moving. And so we've challenged several of the world's top athletes, writers, artists, designers, filmmakers, musicians to, to use this new platform to create something special with it. The first few that you'll see are filmmaker Robert Rodriguez and author Neil Gaiman participating with many others to follow. Oh, yeah. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's fantastic. Yeah, it's incredible. So we put together a little video to show you how they'll be using the new platform. Okay. Go and check Wonderful. it out. Wonderful. Want to take a look? All right. Well, we have to uh, we have to wrap up for uh, Randall Schwartz and Floss Weekly. So I think this is a, as good a point of as any. I, I can't imagine uh, they've given us pricing and availability. Uh, I imagine Thorsten Hines will come out and say thank you at the end of this video, uh, which I'm sure you can find at the BlackBerry website. Uh, I want to thank our sponsor for today's show, Slingbox. In fact, I just hooked up my Slingbox in the new place that I moved into. Uh, and wow, was I missing it. Slingbox lets you watch your live TV anywhere you go, which is great when you're traveling. You can get all your home TV stuff there, but you can also get it uh, around the house. All of a sudden, I've got TVs in every room, just on my tablet and on my phone. Uh, check out Slingbox, built-in Wi-Fi, HDMI connectivity, 1080p, all available for you to use. Once you buy it and you get the apps going, you don't have to pay a monthly service fee or anything like that. So check it out at slingbox.com slash twit. And we always thank Slingbox uh, for their help in bringing you breaking news. Hey, uh, Ayaz, uh, any last thoughts before we wrap up here? Uh, I think that Rim showed off, uh, or BlackBerry now, they, they showed off a really good phone. It seems a little bit lagging in time. It should have been maybe about a year ago it came out. Although I'm really curious with the delay of its release, what Mobile World Congress is going to do to this in February. Because that, that's when all the hot phones will be shown off. If this is delayed till March in the United States, I think BlackBerry's got a tough road to go. Yeah, I, I, I think this has done almost all of the things that they had to do. Uh, they have brought BlackBerry up to the level that is even with other phones out there. Uh, and in fact, they're ahead in a couple of things. I've always felt that the QNX-based operating system that they had even before OS X the, on the playbook is superior to every mobile operating system out there. Uh, and I think the uh, BlackBerry Flow shows it off to its best advantage. So I, I'm a big fan of that. I think BlackBerry Balance, while not something that you haven't seen on other platforms, is done well. It looks very easy. I'd like to play around with it a little more. I'd like to know a little bit more about its security. Um, Everything else, the video calling, the story maker, uh, even the BlackBerry world with all of its music and movies uh, is, is good stuff, things that they had to do. I don't know that this is the thing that puts RIM back up top, but maybe it keeps it far enough. Maybe it reverses the slide uh, and, and it stops them from declining or at least holds the line and gets them back in the hands of, of business users. And that seems to be their real pitch here. It definitely seems like RIM is just, they, they wanted to get on solid footing and this phone definitely will put them in competition with everybody else, but it's really stiff competition.
The BlackBerry Z10, it's Z10 uh, if you're here in the U.S. like us, uh, touchscreen, 4.2-inch screen with 356 PPI, textured surface, also the Q10, uh, which is essentially the same phone with a keyboard, with a physical keyboard. A price around $150 in Canada on a three-year contract. I did, didn't hear that when he first said it, but I, I, I went and looked it up. That's what, he, that's what they said. Around $200 in the U.S., $599 unsubsidized, according to Bloomberg. Coming to Canada February 5th, coming to the United States in March, coming to the UK tomorrow, and the United Arab Emirates February 10th. And uh, their one more thing was naming Alicia Keys, Global Creative Director for BlackBerry. Well, that is it for this special coverage of BlackBerry's announcement, because that was the other thing they announced. They're no longer RIM. They're changing their name to BlackBerry, and they'll get a new stock ticker symbol to go with it. Uh, thank you, Ayaz Actor, uh, for getting up, dragging yourself out of bed early and, uh, and covering this with me. It You're was much more enjoyable. Time. <laughs> all right, and thank you all uh, for watching. You can find all of our specials at twit.tv slash special. See you next time.